Hi, uh, doing a let's play of Mountain Blade. Just figured I'd go ahead and try and show you guys this game. If you're watching this video, obviously this probably perked your interest. Well, let's see, uh, I guess I'll do this save right here. It's a little bit further into the game. I don't have to show you everything about it. Um, I just completed a battle. Um... I'm sure there's a whole bunch of stuff uh, on the screen right now I kind of have to explain. It looks like a strategy game, but really it's not. It doesn't even, this is like the screen you probably look at most in the game, but it's really obviously, as you can tell, not much going on here. Alright, it's day now, so a little easier to show you guys when I explain it. Here's me. Here's my flag. Um, I'm our, I'm represented, or, uh, excuse me, represented by a little horse guy right there. As you can see, I have ten people in my party, including myself. Um, you can see them. They're actually, like, little hero units in the game. I wouldn't really say hero units. They, like, you level in the game, okay? Like, your character does, and so did these other characters that you can pick up and, like, you know, put in your party. And uh, as you can see, the percentages next to their name, that's their health right now. And they're all like really fucked up while I'm at 100% because, you know, I'm just so pro. Um, you got a whole bunch of buttons down here. Quests, I'll get into that later. Reports, it's basically just your renown, your honor rating, your party morale, party size limit. Uh, that's how many people I can have my party. Morale is just how they are right now. Lower that gets. You know, people may desert you. Honor rating. I actually forget what that is. But uh, renown you get from winning battles. And uh, you can view your character report and all that. But let's see my faction relations part or report. Kingdom of Swadia. They're indifferent. Uh, the Kingdom of Vagars. They were vengeful. I'm not even sure if revengeful is a word. But okay. Negative 63, all the others are positive, as you can see, um, these people hate me. And on the map, as you can see, there's a bunch of different little cities, and all these cities have different colored names. Well, the, and the different colors are different kingdoms, just to put it uh, lightly. Um, as I showed you earlier, I'm allied with pretty much everybody except for one and that one would be the green. As you can see the background when I highlight over them is red and all the others are just different kingdoms but I'm not going to go into all of them. So the green ones are the Vagars and basically in this game you progress your character. I'll show you the screen right now. I'm level 28, got 67 health, experience, da 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 da. Basically some D&D &D stats here. Strength, agility, intellect, charming, uh, then a whole bunch of secondary skills. They all uh, help improve your character. A lot of them just uh, influence the campaign map that I'll show uh, you and say, well, I think I've been showing you this entire time. Uh, here's your weapon proficiency. This is archery, you know, yada yada. Basically, I mostly use swords in this game, but I figured on this character, yeah, you know, why not try archery? But uh, I didn't, I uh, figured out that uh, later on, that the only way you can shoot arrows in this game is if you have these bags of arrows and you only have four slots in which you can put weapons so I've got a sword because you know in medieval ages generally people had a sword and uh, here's a bow and then here's a bag of arrows and it says I can only have 34 arrows in that one bag and I figure that's not a lot so I go into these battles with like more than 100 people more than 100 enemies and only having 34 arrows to shoot, which generally doesn't even kill someone in one shot, is uh, not a lot. So I have another bag, and that's about mm, 70 arrows combined, more or less. I also have a shield, but you know, who needs a shield? You don't really need protection in this game. I mean, arrows flying at you constantly. Nah. You totally won't die from that. Um, anyways, I've only got 10 guys in my group. Here you can see the other nation's AI running around. They generally have like 75 people on each party. These are all lords. Every kingdom has a king. And he generally has like an entire fucking army following him. So you generally don't want to get in a tangle with them. And as you can see on the map overall, the green kingdom, which is our enemy, is kind of getting its ass kicked. 
all these uh, orange countries down here, those used to be green, or, or sorry, orange cities. Those used to be green cities. It's kind of progressed in the game. And there really is no end to this game. It's basically just the only end is if every single city is under your allied uh, colors. And I've never gotten to that point because I just don't have the patience for it. So I guess I'll just patrol around a little bit. This, this is like most of the game right here. You're just patrolling around. Oh, also the people in your party, you have to have food for them. So got a bunch of dried meat and fish and some apples. Yeah, big whoop, huh? So you can just patrol around. I guess I'll patrol around the uh, enemy city, see if I can't get into a battle. And you'll find in this game that the AI really sucks, unless they're against you, in which case they're just so perfect. Oh, looks like we got a battle going on here. Uh, let's see... 470 or 424 allies against 175 bad guys. Well, that is a huge clusterfuck. So I'm going to attack this caravan instead. Um, they say blah 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 blah. I demand something from you. There is a toll for free basket here. It just really doesn't matter. I'm just going to be a dick and just say, robbing you? No, 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 it's a joke. Of course I'm robbing you. And my reputation goes down a little bit. Ten people against their 52. They probably got a whole bunch of caravan guards. Not a big deal. So here it is, afternoon at uh, afternoon battle. I've actually got like a graphics upgrade mod going on right now. Here's all my people. They're pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. And here's all the bad guys. And this is pretty much what this entire game is, just medieval combat if you're into that sort of thing. Um, they're all mounted, I'm all mounted, or all my guys are mounted. And this guy's trying to kill me, but since he, I uh, got a bow and arrow, I'm just gonna headshot all of them. Because I'm not a total coward at all. I just sit back and shoot people with my bow and arrow. It's actually, I mean, it's not the most graphic intensive game because it's actually made by an independent developer. Oh dear, one of my guys got dismounted and he's trying to fight 20 people by himself. And he's down. And as you can see, the AI in this game is a little useless. Look at this guy. And I just ran him over. And they're all trying to get me. I guess my guys have already died already. You know, 30 seconds into the fight. And as you can see, um, that guy's gonna get owned. Wow, he didn't die. Oh wait, no, he did die. Generally people die in one fell swoop if you're racing towards them. They usually don't parry, so... They die in one shot. Oh dear. That guy ran into a tree. Oh, that guy actually hasn't died yet. He's trying to help me out here. Ooh, that guy got kicked off. Oh, uh, well, as you can see, well, some of my AI isn't completely useless, but most of them are. Despite the fact they're upgradable heroes, and they should be a little bit better, but in reality, they're really not. And... A telltale uh, skill in this game is horse, you know, mounted combat. If you ever get knocked off your horse, you're pretty much dead, no matter what. As you can see, I have a huge advantage over the people on the ground. That guy's actually smart, he has a shield, but, uh, not too smart. Let's see, I still have arrows. Let's see if I can't arch this guy. You have to be really damn good with this. Oh, he's dead. See if we can get that guy. Oh, he's using a shield. Well, he's pretty smart, but hey, look. I can just shoot your legs. Or I can't, because I'm terrible at this game. And I just missed again, and again, and again. Oh, there you go. He's dead. Headshot, that guy's dead. Let's see if I can get that guy. Oh. Oh, okay. You know what? The hell with this. Just stab you, you're dead. Oh, some of my guys are still alive. They didn't get knocked off their horses like the guy before, so they don't die as easy. I think that's most of them. No, I don't want to retreat. Oh, there's a guy. 
And he's dead. I'm still patrolling.